Welcome if you're watching this on YouTube. Today we've got a first look at the new Amazons DLC for Total War Saga Troy, which is free for everyone to claim if you have a Total War Access account, which is free to create. You can find a link in the description on how to do that. Uh, free to claim until the 8th of October. So if you've got Total War Saga Troy already, uh, grab some free DLC. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Penthesilia. There are two uh, new characters play as uh, Hippolyta and Penthesilia. We're going to play as Penthesilia today because she is a horde faction. Uh, Hippolyta is a is a more traditional faction empire building and what have you. Obviously there's unique faction mechanics uh, but I wanted to check out the horde mechanics with Penthesilia. So we've got a normal starting position. Uh, victory conditions. We'll have a quick look. Obviously this isn't a full campaign. This is just a one-off first look today. Might well do a full campaign uh, in the future. Um, but yeah if you were going to play this through um, there is a Homeric victory conditions and total war victory conditions. Homeric, you need to complete all 13 of the epic mission chain. Gain 5,000 battle glory. Uh, we need to make sure the following factions are destroyed or confederated. Uh, Athena, Sparta, and Phythia. Okay, and total war victory, you need to defeat your first antagonist faction, raise 100 different settlements, and raise Troy, Mycenae, and Knossos. We play on veteran veteran difficulty so very hard very hard uh faction we have initiation rights uh you can only recruit basic units directly you unlock unit upgrades through buildings per army accumulate unit ranks to upgrade your basic units into more powerful ones so i've seen a, a kind of a good description of how this roughly works is similar to kind of the mountain blade system where you have um you know a basic set of of recruits that you can recruit and as they gain veterancy they can actually then kind of branch out into different more advanced units so that seems like a pretty cool system uh, you've got blood oath maintain high battle glory to gain campaign and battle bonuses uh, unlock and upgrade your blood oath to be able to summon powerful blood sworn units your armies cannot reinforce or be reinforced utilize blood sworn units to compensate Ooh, interesting can't reinforce or be reinforced interesting um horde your army is a horde you roam the world and own no settlements Check the war spoils each settlement has and plan your campaign carefully. You have very limited resource production. So armies, uh, recommended playstyle. Amazons were the first to adopt fighting on horseback and have access to cavalry units. Uh, Penthesilia leads a fast and aggressive army. It lacks heavy armor and staying power, but has some of the most hard-hitting axe and javelin units. Heroes, we have access to the archer skirmisher, um, the or the rather the archer types, the fighter types, and the warlord types we don't have access to the defender uh, hero types and unique faction units we have the furies uh themiskira's chosen uh the hippo uh Mat matoy and the daughters of Ares. okay without further ado uh let's dive on in although we've also got yeah daughter of Ares and otria uh which gives us favor of Ares plus 10 percent faction wide and plus 10 percent battle speed of hero let us begin and uh, wreak vengeance O oh, fierce Penthesilea, the scent of war is on the wind. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Across the sea, the hateful Achaeans muster their armies, preparing to invade Troy. King Priam and his kin may aid your cause, for long ago, oaths were exchanged between your warriors on the fields of Phrygia. To reach them, you must travel through the straits and cross the lands of the Thyni on the northern shores of Propontis. They dare forbid you passage, the fools. March west for vengeance. Through glorious battle, I am redeemed! For vengeance. How they play. Uh, Penthesilea's Amazons, or Penthesilea rather. Penthesilea's Amazons. Horde, uh, they cannot inhabit settlements and instead roam the land on horseback. Hordes earn their resources and favour by raising settlements, taking advantage of unique capture rewards. Blood Oath. Armies of Penthesilea uh, can swear blood oaths to add blood sworn units to their ranks. The potency of 
Oh, I can't read that bit. Depends on the amount of battle glory an army has earned. Uh, initiation rights. Amazons can directly recruit only their most basic units. Once a unit um, has proven itself to be, it can be initiated into the Amazon War Mysteries and become more powerful. Yeah, that text will definitely be fixed. <laughs> yeah. uh, mission issued. Objectives. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction in battle. The Thiny will get plus 250 food and 80 bronze. Lovely. So we'll have a little look at our unique faction mechanics. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how many of these kind of horde tweaks and changes make their way over to, to Warhammer 3. Because I think a lot of things... Uh, that we see with Troy being a saga title, a lot of experimental things and trying out different things. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what makes its way to future Total Wars. And obviously seeing this is built on the Warhammer engine, how much of this transitions over to Warhammer 3 will be very interesting indeed. Thank you, Nbyte, for subscribing with, with a tier one sub. And thank you to SM for subscribing with Prime. <laughs> right. So let's take a looky. We've got um, initiation rights. So, yeah, this kind of works as uh, I saw someone uh, on one of the YouTube videos describe this kind of like Mountain Blade system where you've got your basic recruits that you can get, your basic recruit types that you can always recruit. And then as they gain veterancy, you can upgrade them through these sort of um, upgrade tiers and paths to more powerful units, which is pretty cool. So your, your Amazon Chargers, your Spear Infantry can become Horsewomen they can become furies or they can go over to become the hippo uh machoi and then you've got more horses through the warband upgrade path uh the labris infantry can become um an anair an there's also daughters of Ares through that one you've got mounted huntresses as well through the skirmisher line and Themyscira is chosen. And you've got the um, Toxeries as well, Archers. So yeah, pretty, pretty interesting, different kind of uh, unit roster and pool. What have we got to start with? Initiates. Okay, so we've got a mix. We've got some Horsewomen as well. So yeah, all we can do is recruit those units to start with. We've got our Horde Army, which will show us this panel. And then Buildings. We have our Horde Buildings, which again, familiar to the, the Horde system in Warhammer. I think it's kind of the extra sort of faction mechanics that will be most interesting to see if that makes its way into a uh, a Warhammer title. Very, very interesting. Right, well, let's just dive into our first battle and attack these guys, That's see how that goes. Me. We've got War Spoils, which uh, Outriders are ahead of armies to scout the area and report any strategic advantage. Uh, Penthesilea's... Um, Horde can gain from attacking one settlement over another. There's food. Oh, okay. So that's right. That's all of these tell us where certain things are. So we can look at our resources. Because we are a Horde, we're limited on the amount of kind of resources we generate. We don't get that many. So if we suddenly go, oh, I need loads of wood. Then we'd look on here and go, okay, there's this settlement all the way over there for wood. Uh, if we want to go after that. Or we can look. I don't know if there's something close to home. Oh, we can get favor with... Okay, so you get favor with Zeus by raising certain settlements as well. Battle Glory. That's cool. Giant, so special units, so they're all in there. There is a food one very close there that we'll look to go for. Interesting. See objectives, Homeric victory. Take our vengeance on the Greeks. Uh, decrees are the same, although you get less. And there's less gold coming in from that. Um, I might actually... Early on, I might just get gold in there because we could use that to kind of barter for stuff. Although, actually, thinking about hordes just in general, nature's bounty, always getting more horde growth early on. That's always good. Yeah, we'll go for extra horde growth. Thinking back to my Warriors of Chaos campaigns. Uh, it's going to play out similar to that. To give us upgrades nothing. for things. Should be through the main line. Yeah, growth. I don't think... Yeah, there's no supply line penalty for uh, Penthesilea. for the fight. And her forces, but let's dive into battle, although Blood Oath is the last warrior. one we need to take a look at here. So, we can unlock Blood Sworn units. Blood Sworn Warband, so kind of, I'm kind of getting, uh, what is it, like the, the Blessed units for like the Lizard Men? Kind of seems to be something like that, I'm assuming we can get a Warband unit, right? Uh, we have them in our 
Yeah, wall band. So the yeah, they're kind of like a an improved version of them. They're like a blessed variant from the lizard men. Requires 500 total battle glory, and I'm assuming we get that after each battle. Would make sense. All right, let's dive into battle and see what we get. Let battle commence. Here we go. We've got battle glory level one. Okay, that gives us plus five percent morale to all units, but it costs plus ten percent upkeep cost. Okay. And it cannot reinforce or be reinforced because Amazon Pride. Okay, so you've really got to hit hard. Got to hit hard. And you've got to choose your your attacks wisely. Because if the enemy comes up with multiple armies, you won't be able to bring two of your armies together to reinforce. Uh, fog? Yeah, let's fight in the fog. Why not? Why not? Why not in fog? Let's take a look at all our units in a minute. So they've got a uh, spread and charge. Enemies, Are they the only ones we want? We've got some, we've got some cavalry. We've got some cavalry. I've got slingers there. We can go and harass. Let's uh, try and keep my cavalry alive. Pop them in the trees here. Javelins and slingers. Of our battle line behind. Right, let's have a look at the units. Mighty Amazons. That's a really cool shield. We would not want to mess with her. Javelins prepared. We've got our javelins. And then we've got our slingers. Or some tattoos as well. Got different different ones. Pretty cool, nice and detailed. Then we've got our infantry behind. Of men. Spear charges, destroyers of men. I'm axes. sure you will. Oh, wow, great axes, nice. I'll chop them all up. And our war band. And finally, in the trees, we have our cavalry. Loving the shields. Right, let's do this. Unleash the Amazon Fury. We live, we fight. Amazon's going to mess you up. No huntresses. Break those slingers. Oh, yes. Under attack. Infantry charge. Bring, the death. Forward and forward. Bring out cavalry. And here we go. Your warriors are losing heart. Here they come. Make way for the horses. Yep, 
it back. Hero. Labrys infantry is broken. That's okay. Okay, they've broken. Your warriors are rallying. Give this a layer. Give him a good spearing. Victory. They're down. Close enough to taste. Oh, nom 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 nom. get a little bit closer to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's broken. He'll be running now. But no, I'm out of here. Slaughter him. I think she clipped the tree then. There we go. Boom. Oh, oh, yeah, missed it there. Kind of seems like a draw on that one, but I'm pretty sure we're gone. Also, we can see the battle glory levels as it builds on up. Cry battle glory 300 for oh, look, 200 for that one. That gives us Bloodsworn unit summoned three plus five percent to morale plus five percent to cap him at movement range. This one has a negative of the up extra upkeep. More morale, more movement range. Yeah, so morale and movement range and more blood sworn units. That's cool. Uh, let them live. Kill them all gives us battle glory. Um I think we'll yeah, we'll go for some getting some battle glory. Kill them all. I survive. Good screw, how are you? Recruit more units. Okie dokie. And then yeah, we'll go take them out. Take a look at diplomacy. We are at war with quite a few factions. Yeah. Let's go take uh, Athena out. Take out uh, Athens. We'll work our way down. Raising as we go. Well done, and if we sisters. hover over something, we can see that one will give us vision over the area. This one, yeah, gives us that food. Back over here, that will give us um, a siren unit. 8,802 food. Ruddy Eck. That gives loads of bronze. And that gives favour with Hera. Yeah, we've still got that to uh, to go through, which we can Hecatomb, but we'll uh, the we can have that. Although we could mm, can we push in on that settlement. Got eight units. Probably not. Let's uh, let's build up our army. The perfect Amazon warrior. So we need to go into encamp style. Yes, I will. And we can start building things. So we need uh, wood and stone for that. We should probably only get that once we've raised. What can we build then in the meantime? Take a look at the building tree. I don't like anything until we've got wood. Replenishment. There's growth, but also cost of food there. That one does spies. And treasures looted after battle. In terms of units... Oh yeah, so we get initiation rights as we upgrade those buildings. And we get upkeep cost reduction as well. That's good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I quite like this this initiation system. That seemed pretty cool. The Amazons rise. 
apprentice smiths. That's damage of all units. Oh, wow. That's, that's a nice buff. An extra armor. Get uh, chariot javelins with that one. That gives us our... Yeah, so we just need to go through those. Okay, so I don't think we can actually build anything, but we can recruit some more units. Um, for the moment, let's get... Actually, I'm just thinking, is there... The Ares extra recruitment capacity. So let's hecatomb him. Kindle the sacred fires. Um, there is one as well. I think which one is it? Is it Ares as well that gives us? Nope. Oh, instantly gain plus twenty battle glory own armies faction wide. So that's cool. So there's a different prayer effect then. Recruit rank of all units faction wide. That won't take till next turn. Um, let's do the prayer to Hera to get more battle glory. Hear my prayer. And then let's go Victory for. Oh, it was my initiates, not my warband that had the spears. Okay, let's get more slingers, another javelin, and I think we'll go for another warband for. Uh, flanking with axes should work out pretty nicely we've gained a point she's got her own unique skill tree or is it fairly similar to others uh unique things for raising it's fair enough um embrace of Ares, weapon damage or blood of heracles Plus fifty percent melee attack. That's quite nice. Let's go for that. I live to fight on. So we've got growth plus seven at the moment. That's fine. Um, probably diplomacy. To see if we can trade anything. I doubt we can. Let's just see if there's non-aggression packs we can get with Hector and Paris at the moment. We've actually got military access. We will... Oh, wait, no, we don't need to take... I was thinking, unless you're doing the, the Total War Victory, you don't need to go after them. That's... You have to raise Troy if you do that one, but we don't for this, so... Yeah, that's fine. We can do some Amazon deals with them. Power. We could so, I kind of... Yeah, wood would be great. Um, could I have some wood... Even if it's just a small amount, like 75 over five turns, it's better than nothing. Agree. You'll actually offer me defensive alliances and stuff as well. Um, I won't worry about that Come, for this playthrough, friend. but that's always what an option. Words do you have for me? If you're looking to do your own Amazon playthrough, um, I think we'll just, rather than split it across multiple resources, I think we'll just focus on building one up we're going to get much from Paris here. 53, boom. I'd be Good follow up with, at least with uh, Hector anyway. Uh, Dardania, yeah, I don't see any we'll reason to bread. kill you guys. And then so talk. again, more wood, please. 45 rather is what I'm trying to type. Yeah, 49 for five turns. Lovely. And there's probably one or two others, but we won't get, be able to get any trade from that. Military access, no. Defensive alliance. Hector's thinking about it. Don't know how long that'll last. Quite, he'd quite be up for a military alliance, but no, I think that'll draw some too many things. Not worry about that. Let's end our first turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, would I be interested in going for a co-op or head-to-head -head with you, uh, Shkui? Um, At the moment, I'd have to say no, just because I just don't have time. Like, I don't even have time at the moment for um, uh, a multiplayer. Why is someone trying to call me? Um, I don't even have time to do a, a multiplayer, uh, like, stream or video series at the moment. So, unfortunately, I, I, don't, I don't have any extra spare time for kind of community games at the moment. But maybe at some point in the future. I don't actually... Did you guys, did you guys hear my... Um, 
my phone go off then? I don't know if the NVIDIA broadcast stopped that noise coming through music. Issue decree. That's what I'm working on for more horde growth. If you did hear it, what uh, what TV show is it from? <laughs> Extra points, if you guess. You didn't hear it? Oh, cool. Well, the thing to worry, it was that I, I have the community um, That's not possible. theme tune as my... Someone tried, it wasn't like a normal phone call. It was someone tried calling me through through Instagram. I didn't even know that people could do that. That's weird. Right. Um, they've got four. I probably should let these replenish. So it's just smash out some more troops. Uh, Amazon chargers. They'd be quite good for, for some flanking action. So let's get two of them. We've got two slingers, two javelins. We don't have enough food. Oh, here we go. We could... Be friendly with uh, Polita. I'm guessing I'll get called into a lot of her wars though as well. Although she's at war with quite a few. Okay, it's not gonna it's not gonna we affect us today. To I just need some food. That's what I really need. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do it for that. We'll do it for the foods. There we go. There we go. Haggle Heart X10. It's always a thing. Um. Boom. Now I can recruit some more units. And we might be able to press the attack next turn. Uh, what are we going to go for? We could go for some more initiates to hold the line. Yeah, two more initiates. Job done. How do you make a waterbed more bouncy? Easy. Just add spring water. Wow. Oh, that is a 10 out of 10 dad dad joke. Wow. Try to install that. Apparently it only works with... Yes, it is NVIDIA broadcast, so it only works with their with their cards. Although, I think it only works with RTX cards. Um, so, the 20 series and above. Um, I believe RTX voice they've I'll updated that so it'll it. work with with uh geforce Nothing cards as well though let's press the attack Show and see what this looks blood. like looks doable they've only got militia warband should be able to uh break them with our fury let's do it let's um show the boys how it's done see you moosey Is there an equivalent for AMD? No. No. AMD have nothing like it at the moment. Their uh, their own kind of encoder side of stuff and is that uh, severely lacking compared to NVIDIA. It's interesting to see if they do push that. Any encoder improvements with their latest cards. But for me as a content creator, even if... Even if... Um, their next AMD's next series of cards are better in performance than uh, Nvidia's offering, which I doubt they will be able to. Um, at least at the top end, for sure. Maybe they might they might offer some good good competition in the mid 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 and low range. They typically do. I don't think they'll beat them at the top top end. But um, yeah, even even if performance is better on AMD cards, I can't see myself switching anytime soon until they uh, improve their encoder um because nvidia has a very good encoder for streamers and content creators that makes it worth the extra inve uh, investment in my opinion right let's push forward use my slingers to try and hit theirs uh, and extra things like 
NVIDIA broadcast and RTX voice and things like that. Kind of just another another bonus for NVIDIA at this point. But we'll see. Yeah, personally, I've not had the best experience with NVIDIA drivers when I last... I mean, the last... Um, not NVIDIA, AMD. The last AMD drivers and card that I used were the ones for the RX 570. It's an alright card. Like, they do the mid and low range really well. Like, and they often beat NVIDIA at that price point and that, that, cl at that sort of tier or class of graphics card. But what they really need to do to, I think, really push push things forward is to actually offer some competition at the um, at the top end the enthusiast class of uh, graphics card I guess it kind of depends if that's what they want to do or not they need an injection of uh brilliance like they had with their Ryzen CPU. What do I consider NVIDIA mid-tier? 2060? Yeah, I would say 2060. Yeah, they're all diving in there. It's fine. Bring up these troops to hit the flanks. Cavalry, go after those archers. Javelins move across. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're just going to pin them between my cavalry and my spears. Beautiful. Your warriors are losing heart. In you go. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to if you don't want to create content, then you don't need to worry about encoder stuff. So ultimately, if there's a good deal on an AMD card, then yeah, go AMD. And that might well be the same case once they release their next series as well. If you don't, unless they make substantial changes to their encoder, as it stands, if you want to make content and you want to have the kind of minimal hit your perf your performance for recording and streaming content and things like that, Nvidia is the better option right now. But if you aren't interested in streaming, recording, then you might well find a better price performance uh, product with AMD. Okay, we've just massacred them. I mean, they're militia, so I probably shouldn't be too surprised. Is close enough to taste. It's really powerful in this to be the only faction uh, with reliable cavalry access given the strength of Slingers and Javelins. Yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is, the vast majority of the other factions in the game all have access to pretty reasonable spear units early on. I mean, getting up to just even the base spearman level, like, well, they're like tier two. terms of recruitment but i think they'll be you know a fairly natural counter to to the amazons i mean well the amazons are already in the game so some of you may have already come up against them although i don't I guess i'm guessing these new were these units in the game from the start i don't actually know these will be added in no party elite did a video like pretty much at troy's launch saying like here's a sneak peek at the amazons basically where you had a couple of battles up against them Check out what they had. Well, I'm, I'm not sure Hades actually. Has claimed the enemy hero. Death is mine to bring. You have Korg as your ringtone. Nice. Hi, my name's Korg. Little rock, paper, scissors joke. <laughs> oh dear.
Plus centaurs aren't too hard to get. Yeah, they're not too hard to get. Like once you want, once you know where to, you know where to go first to get. If that's kind of the the specific unit you want to go and get. Yeah, definitely. We gained some experience, got some gold, and yeah, we can see our battle, current uh, battle glory is at seventy. I am gonna no keep on doing. No daughter of Ares accepts the settled life. When you conquer a settlement, you can enslave the occupants into your army before burning it to the ground. Or merely raise the place to ashes and leave. Okay, well, I was going to say, um, yeah, I'm going to give the option that gives us the most battle glory. Um, campaign map movement. Army will regain 30% campaign map movement range after raising a settlement and plus 10 to horde growth. So that is good early on. We also get more resources that way. That gives us the most battle glory. Plus 100% to administration efficiency for enacting royal decrees. I think I'm going to go for glory from conquest. Just, just for now. Just for now. Raise and kill. There we go. That's gone. And we gained, we gained vision, didn't we, over the, the whole region. So that one will give us harpies. That one will give us 5,860 bronze. So we could use that to trade for the other resources that we need. That's that's fairly fairly interesting uh, way of doing it. Food is over there. We're not at war with you guys yet, are we? No. You know, are you actually improving? Because you like the fact that we're going after those the others. I'm guessing they're rivals in the area. So we should probably press after them first. Finish off one enemy and then turn on this lot. Um, you'll give us six hundred favor with Apollo. Okay. Um, you've only got six garrison strength. So if we Nothing don't hang about lose. although surely in camp for our faction do we need i'm guessing we don't need any movement range yeah we can always in camp right good away. good 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 uh we don't have enough to get the war camp it's going to take a while to get that we are gonna have to raise some other stuff we can't get any of that until we have more wood so we will just recruit more units for now um i need to go back to our initiate rights to work out what we're going to go for Alright, Javelin. So that's off the skirmishers. Wouldn't mind going for some archers. That would be pretty cool. It seems like those aren't the top tier though, are they? Slingers. Shielded stone slingers. That's oh that's the that's the only option for the slingers anyway. Okay, yeah, no, we'll go for archers then, I think. So what I might do actually is might go for two more slingers. And then of the rest of them. I'd love to go for some Dorse of Ares. So for that we need to go through Warband. So let's get a few more Warband lasses in there. Good. Raising the Slave gives him more glory. He gets 50 for 5 turns. Oh really? Raising Enslave seems to not work for five turns. Every time I've used it, you only get one turn of it. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's... it. Surely it would only it's only meant to be for one turn. Because otherwise that completely nullifies the point of going for Raise and Kill. Because you get less resources that way. I would have thought it's less resources but more glory. Whereas the Raise and Slave should be more resources but less glory. That's what it said at least. Probably a typo. Thing is, there's there's quite a few little typos in this early access build. Thracian plunder, sack or raise two different settlements. Going to Thracian, so I mean that's that's what we're doing right now. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Thracian plunder plus two hundred to the experience of all units per turn. Our own army faction wide plus five hundred food, stone, bronze, and gold. Nice. Praise the gods. More followers flock to your banner. As are. Your encampment grows, rivaling the cities of men. Top level down. Yeah, that's fine. We did what we need to do from that. Um. Why can't I move? Oh, it's because we're recruiting an extra unit. Yeah. We lost the Ares. I've got this. Um, we'll just move and encamp. Yes, I will. We can't upgrade that until we have 
way more stone as well. Uh, we could go for the war games. More tier 1 harpies are available for recruitment after raising their myth mythic settlements with this army. Okay. That gives you, yeah, the extra archers. Yeah, let's go for war games. Get that in there. I don't think there's anything else we can do. What is that building doing for us right now? That's more sirens. Okay. Ambush success chance to evade. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. DLC drops um, at 3 p.m. BST today. So in four hours, 45 minutes in DD. This is just early access. Hey, McElvis. I'm pretty sure it's probably a typo. I don't think it's meant to be for five turns because otherwise there would be zero point going for enslave and kill. We'll check it again once we hit this settlement. Constructing a building, construct any building. Oh, successful. I didn't even realize we had that one. Trojan host gathers. Support the Trojans. Declare no support. Decide later. Uh, we'll say that we support Trojans. Trojan pillar. Boom. Can I reach? For I can. Sure. They've got five units plus sure, their garrison no of eight. Ah, uh, but of course it is a settlement with walls. We can't get. Yep. So we need some. We'll need a, at least a ram. Take four turns to attrition them. I don't know how well we're actually going to do. Siege is a brutal in Troy. Yeah, I might siege him for two turns. We can take them. Let's just go through real quick. Any new campaign mechanics? Uh, yes, for the Amazons, they've got uh, a whole host of unique mechanics for their factions. And um, uh, Penthes uh, Penthesilea's uh, faction is a horde faction as well. That plays very different. Massacre them! Oh, we're still replenishing as well. That's pretty cool. So, does that do anything? That does recruit rank of missile units. We need to get up to, I think it's rank four. Yeah. So, you get this extra little option. Over units, you've got rename. Typically, you'd have merge and then you'd have disband, but we've now got initiation rights, so that's how you improve them. I really like that system, actually. It'd be very interesting to see which Warhammer 3 faction gets something similar to this, because I'm pretty sure they will. It's all kind of a bit of a testing ground. Yeah, you've got to be at rank 4. So the closest thing we have are these these uh, gals at the moment, but we don't actually have... We don't have the upgrade part uh, unlocked for them yet. What do, or maybe, actually, they might be the top tier. Where are they? Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, so we'd want to go probably cavalry. Don't hold back. Wait one more turn and then risk it. Kill the lot. These battles in this game are so boring and terrible. I I mean, they're not they're not amazing, but I don't think I don't know what else they could do to sieges in this, considering, you know, siege equipment in this time was like non-existent pretty much besides you know rams and the trojan horse towers she wants some gold she's going to give me some wood that is a lot of gold to give for such small amount of wood yeah that's that's looking better i mean i guess the sieges i guess because they're 360 for me they're better and they're, they're intricate they're better than warhammers uh, you... I don't need bronze right now. Again, that's a lot, though. I'm thinking we can probably whittle that down. Okay, no, not so much. I mean, when Warhammer first came out, I originally said, you know what? They're going for a, a function over form approach with the sieges because they want to make the maps not overly complicated so that the AI can actually utilize them. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll go for function over form, but problem is the AI still struggles using very basic maps in, in Warhammer. So if I'm honest, I'd much rather now have overcomplicated, beautiful looking 360 siege maps that the AI just can't really utilize that well at all compared to what we have in Warhammer, the one the one wall approach. Um, Thinia, they are united against us and they're back over here. That's fine. Don't mind that. Crab people are dead. Right. Let's see if we can win this. 
without losing everybody. Yeah, the, the the minor settlement maps in this are beautiful. Like, I mean, I think the settlement map, the wall settlement maps as well, they're just GG to the to the the, the team that, that works on environments and cities and and battle maps. They're, they're they're really good. They're really good. Just need kind of more ways to interact with them. I think is the um, big thing. Why build around when you can round with your hero? Because we can hit multiple gates. Hero can only be at one gate. Divide and conquer. Um, they can't be everywhere. So this one has the fewest amount of towers. So that's probably where we want to focus a good portion of our strength. Yeah, their initiatives are shielded. You take that ram. That gate there. There's that one there we could go for as well. Fortunately, we can't hide. And then the other one. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go... Oh, there is a gate over this side we could go for. Yeah. The main objective here with spreading them out is to force the AI to spread out their defenders as well because they're being attacked from multiple multiple points. Right, so this is going to be our, our weakest push side, as it were. We'll just put the javelins over here. We'll pop the axes over here. But by hiding them there, hopefully they won't deploy too many. And we'll have all the spears ready to go on here, plus the slingers. What I might do, actually, is have my cavalry over with the javelins as well. Ready to go on in. I mean, the map, the maps and the siege... The siege all the siege battles themselves, but the siege maps were the best thing about Thrones of Britannia, so at least that's consistent across um, across saga titles. Yeah, they've only put a unit of archers over here. They have put quite a few over this side, though. So what we're actually going to do is not press in over here. We're going to just leave them until they move on off. Us little 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 boats on the lake. That's cool. Yeah, just the like the intricate bits of the map. I feel like they're so much more alive and interesting than Warhammer's maps. Attack. Actually, pop that so she gets a bit more speed buff. Yeah, cinematics. Yeah, they're good as well. Alright, so she's going to push forward there. Sling is the trees. And over there as well. Get some cover. Spears. I don't know how they'll do against two-handed. It might just be better to just try and storm on through. Your warriors are attacking the gates. Storm on through the breach. We'll see. Send them up around the walls. Destroyers of men. Who dies first? Yeah, we'll wait over here. That no, takes a load of my units out, but what I might be able to do is uh, I might be able to get my horse, my horse, uh, horse women round here to go for that gate, but they probably take a lot of damage from the towers. Trees cover. Get ready to go on in. The rest of my spears. Just harass him. A little bit of damage. Your ladders have a foot on their walls. Good. Oh, I've got that tower's also hitting us. That's frustrating about the layout of that but good for defense we live, we fight. 
The enemy gates have been destroyed. Now nah, they've broken those initiates. You, you have lost your siege equipment. Just charge on through there, I think. Being able to engage over there is going to slow us down a fair bit. Enemies beware! You are about to capture the gates. But we are through here, so we can if we can get through here quickly and flank, it'll be good. Got a fresh unit to go through. Actually, what I'm going to do is send you over here, capture that gateway, and stop that tower firing. Charge. Oh, they slingers. No, stay you have captured back. The gates. Likewise, stay back and just fire. Gates are ours. I haven't got that tower, though. I forget they're on a separate thing, aren't they? They're actually on that. They're, they're attached to the gateway, though. Go, 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 go. Got it. You have captured the enemy tower. Good. Push, 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 push. Kind of hoping they'd abandon that side. Your warriors are losing heart. Go, go, go. Bring them in here, we can smash them. Of course. Swings keep harassing. And yeah. Well, we're not, oh, they, they pulled a unit off. Here we go. If they pull them all back, then we'll press in this side as well. But there's no point use, uh, losing those troops if we don't have to. The, mighty hand. the enemy is trying to capture the gates. They're trying. I want to send her into combat. That weakened. Oh, cool. We can come through the woods here. Yeah, that's perfect. We just need to get in behind these and charge them. They'll be flanked and broken. Go after those archers. Go, go, go. go. Send her in against the infantry. Here we go. Smash them from behind. Access. See, that this is my still remaining like big issue with Troy. Like, how did they? How should they be able to just walk through that unit, basically? Because they're now going to get flanked from all sides because they've just wandered on through to attack a unit through there, or they've gone berserk. The counter, like. There's just like no collision in in some cases like that, which I don't think is a good thing at all. Longest battle I've fought what in Troy? Uh, no, I think I've had I think I've had a longer one than this so far. Are they all pulling back. Oh, there. No, they're coming back on. That's fine. Yeah, collision. I'm I'm not happy with it. How it is in in Troy, to be honest. Definitely, in my opinion, could be much better. Because that unit has basically got itself screwed. Just kind of melting and charging on through. When it didn't need to. Well, we've just broken all of them at the gate, so that's fine. She does have her Aristia, so actually we can send her off that, that Defender Champion and break them there now. Not 
Go off them now. Your warriors are rallying. my fave total war so far uh warhammer 2 not perfect but it uh like easily the most replayability and obviously the nature of the game is that it's got a lot of variety to it that's what i like the most about it one of your units has no more ammunition the mighty hand attack 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 get stuck in Oh, we're chasing them all the way over here. No, they're gone. Nice. Head over this way. They brought extra troops over. Yeah, we've still got them strapped over here. That's fine. I'd love to bring my cavalry around, but we'd have to... We'd have to come all the way around here. Our waypoint's not working. Yeah, there they are. Good. We take, take him out up there on the wall. Charging. A few of my troops have broken. Not ideal. I'm gonna keep chasing them down. By Ares, your warriors are rallying. Yep, there we go. Turn it back around, hit him in the backside. If these guys rally as well. Gals, I should say. Victory is close enough to taste. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing um, bodyguard units back for sure. Like, I think they definitely need to differentiate their historical and their fantasy titles. Um, you know, like, just the, the core way in which they, they work. Because, yeah, I'm... I mean, Troy is trying to do this walk down the middle approach between historical and mythological fantasy. And that's, I guess, the excuse of why they've got heroes in there, plus... They're working on the Warhammer engine, so it's, it's going to have single entity hero types, you know. Um, I would... I'll be very disappointed if the next historical game has heroes. The next main historical Total War game has heroes. Over General's Bodyguard. I think we need a return to that, to be honest. Anyway, won the battle. Huzzah! Um... Do, 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 do. Mr. Uh, David Attenborough, a summary of the battle so far. Ah. Well, after much fighting, the Amazons have won. I'm afraid this commentator arrived too late for a live battle commentary. Troy doesn't need to be historical, though, considering it's not my... That's true, that's true. I think a lot of people kind of thought they were getting a more historical Age of Bronze um, Total War though. Which I think kind of threw some people off. I think it's the kind of... Well, I think I think Troy would be a better, better game if they had lent fully into the mythological side of it. Especially on the Warhammer engine. Kind of like trying to tone it down a bit kind of seems a bit counterproductive. Uh, five turns remain. I'm, I'm thinking the five turns remaining is pro possibly to your Horde growth. For five turns. Um, how close are we to getting? We're 160. Yeah, I'm gonna just glory from conquest again. Yes. Man I of the hour system would be cool. Yeah, I think the thing, the problem with that is that we're not gonna get that. We're not gonna get that all the while they have general. You, well done, you have to have a general leading an army. But I quite like the captain system, um, the man of the hour. Because you create kind of your own interesting Amazon characters that way. Warrior. Which was very interesting to see. Something I still enjoy when I play some Medieval 2 or 3rd Age. 
Uh, that's a longer time, and that is reduced cooldown. I'd rather have it go on for longer. I bring Head on over here. We can replenish up, and then we can go do some killing. Um, we need stone. So, let's do a barter for some stone to upgrade our main line building. Why can't I do only five population surplus? What have we got? We've got three. Do we have a building that does more growth for us, actually? That one. Yeah. But we can't do that until we're at tier three. Right. We are we are one turn away from getting more horde growth anyway, uh, which is good. But yeah, let's get some more stone. Miss the longer battles from Med 2 era. Um, I... I don't know. Like, some playing a lot of Third Age recently, which is obviously on Medieval 2, at times I'm kind of like, God, oh, this is a slog. I, I, don't, I don't mind the faster paced battles, to be honest, of the more recent Total War games, because it allows you to do a bit more on the campaign map. And there is, there is more to do on the campaign map than ever before with unique faction mechanics and things like that. I wouldn't say the current battle speed is perfect, but it, you know, some tweaking to make it a little bit longer, but I don't think we quite need necessarily medieval 2 length battles in, in some cases, but I don't know how much of that is third age potentially slowing things down or what have you. Right, you guys got the best stone. This ending well. uh, I need it right now, and I think I need at least 300. Ooh, wow, what do you want? You want gold. I can give you gold. Hey, Warrior, how are you doing? Uh, join the DLC. Yeah, I mean, it's different. Yeah, I've, I've got an hour in it so far. And, um, yeah, especially the horde mechanics is uh, it's good fun. It's it's a different experience with Troy. So if, you, if you're enjoying Troy, but you don't, you feel like all the factions are offering a, a similar experience, um, then definitely pick this one up. It's free as well until the, until the 8th of October. Claim it for free. So why not basically give yourself two more two more uh, characters to play as? One of them with a very different um, playstyle because they're a horde. Yeah, let's go for that. Boom. Yeah, I definitely... One of the big things I like, I want to see multiple resources in future Total War games. For sure. I think it's a, a very positive step forward for campaign stuff. Medieval 2 has lots of campaign map gameplay, though. It does, but not as much as, as these ones. You don't have, you know, unique faction mechanics. Um, I would say it has lots. Uh, I mean, not really. Medieval 2 campaign-wise, you build things, you recruit things, you move agents. That's that's it, really. There's a lot more to do, I feel, in the more recent Total Wars for campaign map side of things. There's more management of your your ha characters, your generals, at least. Like I don't, I wouldn't, I would like to keep the kind of RPG elements that we've got with having single entity generals, like being able to spec out their bodyguard and stuff. But I'd like having bodyguard units for sure to return. Wish there, I wish some of the trade stuff was in there too. Well, I mean, the whole idea with this is that there aren't your your trade agreements are the ones that you make. There are no kind of just flat, straight up trade agreements for whatever. I actually prefer this whole economic system, to be honest. Agents had more to do on the campaign map. Um, I mean, the only the only case number that's true is is diplomats, but not having envoys say having to require them to go to someone to do an act diplomacy. It doesn't take away really it makes actually i would say more things more frustrating than being able to go to a button and enact diplomacy you still spend the same amount of time going through your options in fact there's more options now to kind of craft deals and 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 what have you so i, I, I would disagree with saying that they had more to do there's there's still plenty of agent actions you can do in uh, in recent total wars compared to medieval 2 Like I kind of, in in some ways I kind of like the idea of having a diplomat or an envoy be the one that initiates diplomacy and not having a button for it. Um, 
They are declaring war on me. Yeah, sure. That's fine. We're going to go after them anyway. And she's calling me to go in against them. That's fine. I'm a horde, so I don't have to worry about protecting regions. It's whether they actually come after me and find me. Do, 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 do. I like needing to much. Uh, princesses were cool. Yeah, I quite like that. I think I think there's room to give agents kind of still more things to do to interact that just add rather than you know taking away saying having diplomacy set to a button. Um, I think you could probably argue that in some of the more older historical titles, uh, not sorry, uh, older historical settings. It would make sense to have diplomats be able to enact diplomacy rather than it being a uh, a, uh, a button system um, that you just press. But I feel for like something like medieval, uh, not medieval, sorry, like M if they did an Empire 2, it would make sense to have it on a button. Because it's kind of, I guess, reflecting like a uh, an embassy system. Right, so just declare war on us. Um, we could go hit this settlement. We get a lot of bronze from it. It's got 10 units in it. I think what I'm going to do is move over here. Oh, we can see an army coming. Hello, poppets. You're hunting us down, aren't you? You can try. We'll do that, and we will recruit in some more charges, I think. That's what we'll do. Have we got anyone close to leveling up yet? To level four. No, we're like level two max. We've got that extra growth. I'm thinking I was going to go into gold just so that we had more of that to trade around for stuff. Although probably getting things like wood actually and stone just ticking around in the background would be pretty good. Especially wood because we need that for everything. So let's get some wood in there. Upgradable forts would be good, yeah. You could do diplomacy as send a diplomat to newly found factions. They create an embassy and that allows them to do diplomacy. You have to send one to enact diplomacy. Possibly. I think you've kind of got to balance what what is almost like a, a really like practical historical thing versus what's actually good for gameplay and what would become frustrating over time um, having to do that each time. Because if that's the sole purpose of sending a diplomat there to then enable it through a button... Just be like, oh god, I kind of why do I need to send this guy there in the first place? Can't I just have the button now, sort of thing? Uh no, I'm not gonna give you bronze. Go away. Um you want gold for no. Cannot wait for mana lords. That's looking really promising. I mean, it feels like Total War is heading in a good way with campaigns where battles are going downhill. Yeah, I mean, I don't think necessarily the battles are going downhill so much as that they're just not having any attention really giving to, given to them. And so compared to campaigns, they're sort of very stagnant. I think, I think Creative Assembly have got the, you know, the way they bring in unique faction bonuses and mechanics now for... For, for their games. I think they've got that down really well. The campaign side of things is really good. Battles need... They just need some evolution, something happening to make them a little bit more interesting to, to a bit different because it's essentially the same formula since the very start. Whereas if you compare Total War campaign gameplay from the very start to now, it has changed a fair bit. Uh, a new engine for battles. I definitely feel like... I, I, one thing I want to see in battles is being able to interact more with the terrain. Um, like, I think it might take a, a specific Total War set in a certain time or era to enable you maybe even to dig in or create fortifications actually on, on the battle map uh, and really utilize terrain to your advantage. I mean, way back with Empire Total War, there were, I think, some of the very early preview videos of it. There was a lot more uh, interaction with terrain than actually what was in the final game. So I think that was a system that they just couldn't get working how they wanted to. So I think if they could 
revisit that, that would definitely be a way forward to add another layer of depth to battles for sure. Half mechanics in this game don't last the whole campaign or are just useless. For example, Hector Paris is once. Yeah, that's true, but I don't necessarily feel like a mechanic has to last all the way through. Like, not all mechanics are created equal because otherwise you wouldn't be as inclined to try out certain ones. That kind of plays more to their story. But I don't think you need to have totally balanced equal mechanics. Some should play certain ways or be useful for the early game. Some should be more useful for the late game. Some should be good for the mid game. And some should potentially fluctuate. Um, so, yeah, I feel my pain. I think maybe some should be tweaked a little bit, but I I don't have a. I mean, Hector has kind of two. H H Hector and Paris have two unique mechanics that can last that last all the way through the campaign. Well, they each have a unique mechanic that lasts all the way through. The SL1 League for Hector and the um, and Helen for, for Paris. They both have Priam's heirs, which takes them into the mid-game and then obviously stops being relevant. But the benefit from that is that it transitions you into confederating and gaining a, a big city. So I don't, I don't think that's necessarily an issue, to be honest, because I think it, it gets you... It, it it does what it what it needs to, and then you still have another mechanic that you can keep using all the way through. Uh, raining yeah, we'll fight in the rain. Why not? Are we still on the war engine? Uh, Warscape engine. Warscape engine um, is the is the is the in house name for their graphics engine. Uh, I don't know if it's still called Warscape for what drives their. Uh, for their graphics processing or whether it's like Warscape 2 or 3 or, or whatever or maybe they call it something different now. Uh, on the core of it, I think the Warhammer engine was Total War Engine 3. Like they didn't have, it wasn't like crazy specific code names or anything like that. But essentially with the, the Total War engine as it is, it's a very modular engine. So one bit gets taken out, updated, slotted back in. So I don't think we'll ever see, you know, a complete rewrite or a, 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 a brand new engine from game to game. It will be a slow, progressive upgrade or tweaking of certain elements. Um, so while 3K's Total War engine is very different to Warhammer's, it's just tweaked and updated and modified in different ways. But at the core, it's still the same thing. Unit collision needs, yeah, the unit collision just needs to happen again. Like, I'm not, that's, that's, that's my biggest probably issue with, with Troy is that it just doesn't work. I can, I can, I can kind of see they want it so that you get the, the smashes and the charge and the chase, but it's got to have something solid in there to stop them just being pulled through because that's what ends up happening. You guys go over there. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, Javins, go wreck those Axemen. Mess up their date. One of you go that way. Yeah, so uh, the kind of the last major dra drastic change to the engine was... Um, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe they would classify what they did from with with Warhammer One was a big enough. Maybe that counts as Warhammer Four, uh, Warhammer Four Total War Engine Four. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the last kind of major change was between Medieval Two and Empire, and Empire was two thousand nine. Doesn't unique collision happen? Oh yeah, there's unit collision in, in Warhammer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're basically, the main thing with this is that there isn't, or it's very light, because you can end up pulling through. I think it might not be that the collision's actually a problem, it might be due to the way units engage in terms of their spacing and how that interacts with the collision system. Like here, these units pull it, they actually pull through a fair bit into the other force to support them, which is fine. The problem is, if I give them order now, 
they can quite easily run through that unit. Which, I guess it's, it is a fairly loose spacing unit. So maybe that's not a massive problem. But it's when they end up charging through whole units to hit one behind. It's like, that other unit isn't just going to be like, oh yeah, you guys run on through. Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me standing here. I'm not going to block you going through and attacking my friends. Is collision a sign? Yeah, but I don't think you'd have whole units running through others. Your warriors are I mean, losing heart. I probably, I think maybe, maybe it's, an, maybe it's to reflect the differences in tiers of units. Maybe it happens more with lower tier units. I haven't really tested it out with high tier units uh, or kind of more, more tighter formation units. Try that with the cab, what like running through like that. The, uh, don't they end up just getting like skewered and dying? I'm not sure I want to lose my cavalry. I know that the, the Lionheart stereotype is that all my cav must die, but <laughs> you know, Your warriors are rallying. not when I can help it. Yeah, the, the biggest problem is because of the, the the emphasis on flanking in Troy, at least, means that units that end up pulling through get then get a massive penalty against them because they get a, a huge flanking penalty applied. And you're like, oh, that's not good. Cav dies. It's their lot in life. <laughs> not today. Oh, no, they knock everyone over. Uh, okay. Yeah, it kind of... I, I, I'm, From what I've seen, I think it's something that actually probably can be fixed. Hopefully fairly straightforwardly with, with patches and stuff. Or, with, you know, with just some, some tweaks to some settings here and there. It seems like a combination of formation spacing, um, knockdown effects, um, and kind of... I don't know, unit movement commands and things like that that need a bit of tweaking. And then it might actually be a bit of a better kind of system overall. Cavalry go around that way. So that's the capture point over there. Victory is close enough to taste. Lost a couple of units over there. That's fine. Managed to break through with the rest of my forces. Go. By Ares, your warriors are rallying. Jabs. Forward. Go, 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 go. Yeah, those slingers are asking to get munched. Does as well. Pull back. I always feel as well that one kind of guarantee between Total War games is that if if they've managed to sort out really good cavalry charges in one Total War game, when the next one comes out, cavalry charges suck again. <laughs> like it just. They don't, they don't seem to be able to kind of copy and paste over what works from one to another. I think they work fairly well in in Warhammer and 3K, to be honest. But in Troy, 
sometimes are a bit lackluster. I mean, there, there is less emphasis on cavalry in this game. And they are meant to be more like light cavalry, so they're not meant to be as heavy hitting. It's almost to medieval two levels where the units kind of, if you don't get the charge time perfectly with the, with the speed, they uh, kind of just walk up to them and then sort of bounce off. Go, 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 go. All my, all my spears just charging in there. Feel like here we have really good collision, but like they hold their battle lines nice and solid. And no one's kind of pushing through. Oh, now my cavalry's coming in as well. Hello. Why? Why did we stop going after the slingers? Did they accidentally give you a command or something. Like that? The enemy has lost a victory point. Our chariot's still overpowered. Uh, they still do a lot of damage, but they are more susceptible. Their, their melee defense has been lowered a fair bit. Um, so they are... If they're left in combat for too long now, they will just get destroyed. Whereas before, they, pro they were a bit more staunch and survivable. Even if you kind of threw them into combat and left them for a bit and forgot about them they would end up uh, all right. I'm going to pop her Aristia when we get a bit closer so she can heal up, even if the battle's on by then. Yeah, chariots still do a lot of damage. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. I'll paint the ground with your guts. Stop spouting insults and fight me. Destroy. Just leave her healing for a little bit longer. That's close to full strength. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the best way of kind of dealing with, with chariots still is to, like get some high armor piercing missile units, so javelins or any other buffed up unit that you've maxed out their uh, armor piercing with. The surefire way to bring them down. So at least um, they're not as crazy strong as they were before. But if you still get a whole army of chariots and, and run around with them, you're going to be uh, getting many, many kills. Um, I kind of just want to. Oh, we're yeah, our level of glory as well. I've just seen what that is. That like, more campaign amount of movement range. Oh, we got more blood sworn. Yeah, let's look at that actually. I think we've nearly got enough for one of those. Thracian hospitality smashed. Uh, Thracian plunder plus two hundred to the experience all units per turn. Nice. We've got some good resources all over the place war as well. Queen. Um, there we go. So we can unlock that one for. Oh, doesn't that, does it not? It doesn't cost us any glory. They will cost us 100 gold and 100, uh, 1,000 food. Oh, and that's an upgrade part, I think. Is that, oh, that's specifically for 
Blood Oath. Honor. And Blood Oath Vengeance. So that lets me get blood to Oh, oh, is this a way of just upgrading them? Have a lucky. Uh, I forget which ones they are as well. I think it's this ones. Nope. That's the one already. I mean, I can just recruit them. Oh, where'd they go? I'm confused. Right. Access to Blood Oath Honor. Nothing left to lose. Where do you get? Oh, oh, that's why. Oh, upon activation. Oh, oh, that was silly. Oh, oh, wait, no, hang on. Is that... Can exceed army maximum. Oh, so, oh, that's why we don't have reinforcements. So it creates like a war force. Nice. I live for two turns. Okay, we definitely need to get ourselves to a settlement then to make use of... Uh, Let battle make commence. use of this. Uh, we've got extra... I should probably... Oh, I know we've got to encamp. So I hope we can actually use that. Damn. That's that's pretty cool though. No, I'm not just going to give you bronze. I know I've got a lot of it, but I should really be trading it to build stuff, but shh. Go away. Oh, hello. Oh, but yeah, they get them all included in my army. Oh, nice. Yeah, so they... Did they maybe not think we had... Like, maybe they can't see the Bloodsworn Warband that all joined us. That's mental. Okay, so they just suddenly appear and then they disappear? Cool. Here we go. It's like this. Ah! Unleash the Amazons! What? What are we doing in this game? So that means you can have massive like hordes of Amazons, and you have all the all the things unlocked. So we've now got all these Bloodsworn Warbands just ready to go. I'm loving the. Uh, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that is blood on them, markings or some dye. I mean, that's a lot of blood actually. Killing a lot of cows or horses. Maybe it's just some dye. Otherwise, where are you getting it all from? Blood of your enemies, probably. Like, sort of caked in it on your arms and your necks. That's pretty cool though. They're gonna mess you up. It is called the Blood Oath. So, yes, it would make sense that it is blood. Yes. This is true. <laughs> ha ha ha. Uh, I might actually hide you lot back here so you don't die. Him. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Yep. Let's go smash their faces though. Cavalry. Ooh, dang. Cavalry blood for the blood of God. Indeedy. Three thousand six hundred versus three thousand one hundred. Bring it on. Hopefully Blood Mother doesn't go mental like our last Blood Mother. <laughs> Blood Mother of Cornwall. Good times. Good times. What's their stats? My Blood Sworn Warband. Good damage. Good melee attack. Low defense and low armor. Yeah. It's all about just smashy smash smash.
Has shited your hidden units. Smash, smash, smash. Under attack. Cavalry. Cavalry. Blank. I need a formation charge like that. So you grab all the units that you want to do a attack forward, basically, not on, onto one unit. You press Control G, so they go into a locked group. So you see there'll be a little, little padlock um, above their number there, and then you give an uh, attack onto a unit in the direction where you want to go, and then they will all attack in that direction, not just dog pile onto that one unit. Your warriors are losing heart. Break them and keep them broken. Oh yeah, they're all just their morale is just dropping. Absolutely smashed them. Love the pan shots. I enjoyed it. They've all just broken. Move all of them forward. Cavalry. Ah, Cavalry, I found you your target. The light skirmish is over there. Where'd my other jab unit go? It was broken over there. And dog pile onto that hero. Good, good, good. Finish him off. Slay Get him. Them. Before Lanhart does in real live streams and gets the drone for the pan shots. Yeah, just be like, and now pan shot. Hades has claimed the enemy hero. Love to get a drone at some point. mind doing some cool cinematic shots over the, the local farmland. <laughs> Can't really think of a, a crazy need for one, really. But, I don't know. Maybe at some point. Has he popped his Aristia? Yeah, he has. broken. Oh, I was hoping it might have generated just enough to pop hers to again heal her up. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yep, pop it. Might as well recover some extra hit points. Just stay, steer, just stay clear of airports. Yes. I'm pretty sure, don't you have to have a, you have to have a license anyway to be out filming with one? What are you supposed to or something? Cinematic show, show of the barbecue. Yes, we've had there's plenty of places um, 
like nearby where I could I could go get some fantastic shots at the surrounding area. It is way too long to kill them. No worry. My main issue with the with the heroes is that they're you never get to see any of the cool finishing like moves because they break and they just run away. Then if you made them all unbreakable, then you, I guess you'd lose way more heroes, really. And I feel like it, maybe they should have had the dual mechanic from 3k to lock them in until you finish them off sort of thing. Um, let them live. We get glory from battle that way. Uh, yeah, glory from battle. Kill them all. Chop, 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 chop. I survive and thrive. Yep, we do. Survive and thrive. Which is the Amazon way. The Amazonian way, I should say. Denmark, you're only allowed to fly drones in designated areas. No flying over your neighborhood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's probably something similar in the UK I'd have to look at before getting one. I want to make sure it's all all up to scratch. Uh, construction altar. Okay. Um, go wait. Yep. I can do that through this bit here. Oh, we need to be... Oh, yeah, we're at tier 2 anyway. Morale of all units. That's just morale buffing. That's campaign about movement range. That would actually be quite good. Processions to Poseidon. Melee defense increase. That's always good. Recruit rank of agents. Eh, not too worried about that. Charge of all units and melee attack. That's quite nice as well. Hit points of hero. And that is... That's more horde growth. Um, which... Yeah, full horde is good, but we've got plus 13 at the moment. Um, if we were to build, or rather, which one is it? Yeah, that one. Upgrade that. That'd be fine. So I think we'll save up and go for. So we need five surplus for that. That's what I keep forgetting. That's where we've already got that building in there. So yeah, it costs us more food. We don't actually have enough to sustain that. We get. Are we, have we got background income? Yeah, we've got a faction amount, royal decrees, and then our, our units. Well, it's actually only an extra 100, isn't it? So we'd still be fine. Yep, 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 yep. So we've still got the Blood Oath units. Let's turn around and go hit that one. Let's just go knock you guys away. Oh, no, you're going to stand and die. Don't hold back. Awesome, Krista. Which um, have you gone for both of the millions flavors? Just kill them. Head I out. I prefer the bubblegum flavored one over the strawberry one. Oh, we can reach as well. Boom! Oh, there's a big old army there. We're gonna mm, not a chance. We possibly gonna want to push him while we've got War those blood Queen. blood oath units with us. Bloodthirst gains. Gains rage passively. Um, or heroic spirit. Cubs are unbreakable. Aren't you already unbreakable? No. Mm. I like how they change. Yeah, I'm liking. I'm liking hordes for sure. Definitely give me this in. Uh... Warhammer three, please. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other things that give us unbreakable anyway. I'm going to go for Bloodthirst. Well done, my uh, DLC is out at 3pm BST, so in uh, 3 hours 45 minutes. Let's see what this looks like. We can take them. Oh, yeah, we can. We can totally take them. 
Do I want to risk an order resolve and see lots of my units die, though? That's the question. Probably not. All gameplay is hard for more defensive gameplay. Well, I mean, you've got um, the other Amazonian character, uh, Hippolia. Hippolytia? I forget her name or how to say it, as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, she's she's a more she's not a horde faction, so she's a more standard um, empire building type. She's got Amazonian treasures as one of her kind of unique mechanics that you're sort of hunting for. Okay, it's this map again. This is fine. Slingers through the center, and then we'll have jabbies. I think I'll pop the jabs over on the right today. Cavalry go into the trees there. Yeah, some units are almost rank 4, so yeah, the skirmishers and huntresses, although they're the next tier up anyway. We've got these ones here. So might be able to upgrade some slingers. Good. Pop you there. Pop all of them there, and then we want all the blood swarm warband in the center. Oh, we've got more of you there. There we go. Be fine. There. Boom. Select everyone and move you all forward. Oh, they've got more over on the left today. Hippolyta. There we go. Defy! But it's the only Epic Games Store it comes out on the 25th. Um, Yeah, not sure. It should be out today. There's something suddenly changed. It, run, Trojan Warriors, run. Otherwise, I will munch you. Okay, munching it is. Go. Much munch. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Javelins. Go. Maybe 25th to buy. Um, maybe, although the, the, the free promotion runs until the, the 8th of October, so I would have thought it would be free. It should just say then. I mean, like, definitely don't, don't buy this DLC. Get it for free. Like, not saying it's not worth you purchasing, because I think, you know, looking at the mechanics, it's definitely going to give you a, another, a good few more hours worth of, a, of another good couple of campaigns. But it's it's free, but all you have to do is, you know, create a Total War Access account where you can get... Uh, you can get wallpapers and artwork and stuff like that for Total War games anyway. But I really, yeah... Only way you should end up buying this is if you suddenly, I don't know, fall asleep right now and don't wake up until the 9th of October and then you've missed the promotion. Now, even if you don't plan on, uh, on playing it anytime soon, add it to your account, why not? I believe you've got until the, the 8th, to, 8th of October to create an, a Total War Access account and link your account to Epic then. And then the code you're given, I think you've got until the 5th of November to then redeem it. Are they going to give out the next DLC after this for free? I uh, don't think so, although they do have a, a free content 
kind of um, schedule, as it were. So similar to they're they're they're, they're very much treating Troy how they do their Warhammer update. So there'll be a big patch, or so I say a big patch. There'll be a patch alongside each DLC and free update. But alongside each DLC, there should be something that you get for free anyway. Uh, that looks looks like what it's going to be. It's just this first one, this Amazon's one, is free if you have Total War access. Uh, then there'll be, I assume, paid DLC next, um, which you'll obviously have to buy. But there will be, you know, a free hero or, or some kind of free extra alongside it that you don't have to buy the DLC to get. You'll get anyway, alongside a patch. That went well. That went well. Finish him. Yeah, give him a good skewering. Yes. Right through the stomach. Very nice. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, we're not going to get much from that. You know what? Let's go for... Oh, the resources we're going to get. Not that much, but let's just see what workforce does. What actually kicks up for five turns? Raise and enslave. My skill is proven. Plus your motivation and plus five percent replenishment. Noise. Ration, uh, Hematian. Nice. We War should have. Queen. Not tell us five turns. No, I don't, don't think so. Drill expert, recruit rank of all new units. That would help us get um, further along with our upgrades. A bit better, although I don't know if that, we want to do that at the cost of Ambassador Hermes recovery. Mm. That being fresh all the time is quite good. Recruitment cost of units in Hero's Army. Minus 15% cost for initiation rights. Okay. Income from raising. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to spoiler. Yeah, 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 give me that stuff. I live to fight on. All cool, cool, cool. Right, yeah, we'll head over there. Let's just. There's their other army. Let's go to encamp stance. We're going to lose the Blood Oath ones. Next turn. That's fine. Then we upgrade the Blood Oath so that we get the Bloodsworn uh, Labyrinth Infantry. We need another thousand. Basically, just under um, battle glory, and then we need three hundred gold. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we probably should trade some of this resources around. Uh, and also, what can I can I build? We don't have any surplus, so I'm gonna need one for that, aren't I? Yep. Uh, next turn, we'll be able to get that. We should get battle mentors in there, so we can upgrade things. Right, it is time to see if we can get um, some more. Resources, mainly all that bronze. We do not need. In fact, actually, just go to our initiation rights. Do we need bronze for any of these? Upgrade cost is food and gold. Ah, you need some bronze. You need food. You need food and bronze. You need food and gold. Food and a lot of bronze. Food and a lot of wood. It's mainly gold bit of bronze but yeah we can definitely trade away some of it because we've got 7,000 and we're getting 70 a turn as well um so what we really need actually is is some more gold ticking on over so raising some settlements giving us a lot of gold is there actually we were going to look at what's what is there any yes gold that one's actually going to give us oh only 209 really they have have they declared war on us no I know it's kind of away from our objective but 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 seeing as we're at war with these people, let's go get some gold. Um, but yeah, if trade some bronze for some more wood and stone, what do we need for our next series of upgrades? Wood, stone, lots of gold. That one we could do if we actually had, if we were able to upgrade that enough. Um, what we, we're going to build that, we need just wood. So just some wood and, wood and stone, maybe even get some gold for it. To diplomacy. 
Right. Uh, let's filter... Attitudes. That's likelihood of success quick, don't I? Yeah, attitudes. She doesn't really have anything that we want. You guys got loads of food, though. Priam. Hmm. Anyone got crazy amounts of gold? Probably preem at this point. They're happy to trade that away. I don't think we're going to get anything there. So, who's got loads of wood? Troy's got a fair bit of wood. And he, he does want some bronze. We have much to discuss. So, let's see if we can set something up on the regular. Let's offer 200 bronze for five turns in return for some wood. Yep. Ah. That works. Good. Need a cat cam. Yeah. Need, need, that's what we need the drone for, to follow him around with the cat cam. Let's do that. I could not. And then... I wonder if I could do the same thing for get some gold out of him. Probably not. I need actually someone with a lot of stone, actually. We've got none of that coming in. So who's got lots of stone right now? Not seeing many. And we're at war with all of those. Okay, we'll leave that then. We'll see if there's something next turn. But if not, where is some stone? Where is a lot to be got from stone? Oh, seriously, only 396. Dang. That's harpies. That's vision. That's going to give us 6,000 food. That's going to give us sirens. That's going to give us 10,000 food. Ruddy yak. That's going to give us another 6,000 bronze. Shame that's only going to give us 209 gold. And I'll stream just put a GoPro on him and let him out. He can watch where he goes. Yeah, that would... <laughs> oh, what, what, like, yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't be able to wirelessly stream it to it because he'd go out of range. Cat cam. No, 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 no. But I could, like, yeah, stream... <laughs> I don't think you could quite do a GoPro. That would be quite, probably quite heavy for him. Uh, you guys want peace. Um, you are... You're at war with me, that's it. No, because you've got points to Athena and you've got some more bronze there. So I'll come kill you eventually. I'm going to say no. So I've got no settlements to worry about. It's just my army. Um, you're offering me food. For wood, no. That's what I want, wood. <laughs> we have the technology. Put like one of those tiny little like spy cam cubes on him. And then like see where he goes. Let it just record for like an hour or whatever. However long the battery life in the one of those tiny little things is. See where he goes to. Father's wishes. Amazon's emboldened. Plus 12% to campaign at movement range of all armies. For three turns. Nice. That'll do. Yeah, so we don't have any of the extra units. Man Requires level two or more. So has our has our battle glory? Oh no, it's still there. Oh, sorry, the, that's di yeah. Glory battle glory is different to um total battle glory is nine ten. Right, right, but we did. We did spend it on calling that. So it's at 50 again, but we've had a to total still accumulate. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. Here we go. Smash, smash. Risk the order resolve. Risk it for the biscuit. Please don't kill any of my units, because I want that sweet, sweet XP. Yeah, all good. God, they're just, oh, wow, they're just chewing on through. And yeah, the battle glory is nice, but I'm thinking we probably want to go for Raisin Slave just to queue up some more resources to build up our horde right now. I 
Because then once it's all built up, then we can just do the one for maximum. Maximum. Uh, Victory is ours. Battle glory gain. So that's all good. Gain another level. Um, resources from war spoils. Favor from now resources. That's fine. Fine, 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 fine. We can upgrade that again if we want to. Or I should be able to build. Oh, only five surplus flat. Dang it. This one obviously doesn't require any surplus. Yeah. Do that because then I should be able to oh, upgrade. Well done, my sisters. You can go to. Oh, it needs to be rank five. Oh, dang. It was rank four. Oh, it's rank four for these. That's the rank five. Yeah, it's for the other ones. For those. Cool, 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 cool. Slingers. Yeah, I want to turn you into archers. We're heading that way. See that little bit of XP bar just over there. So they don't need too much more. So that's all good. Didn't I have a instantly gain battle glory? Any of the others changed? I don't think so. Board growth, own armies faction wide. Yeah, that's not a terrible thing to have. Oh, we've got all the, uh, the Apollo stuff. Um, Zeus, we don't need to recruit any more just yet. I don't think I'll heck of too many things at the moment. If I wanted to create another army, though. Just have to pay for that upkeep cost, which we... Mm, we and we're going to be running at a deficit. We might as well start thinking about another army, actually. Why can't I recruit another one? Oh, we need sur population surplus. But of course. The Amazons rise. I don't have any agents to get yet. Cool. Yeah, so more surplus required. The things that give you plus recruit rank be good. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I'm just not recruiting anything at the moment. Otherwise, I would. No aggression. And there are... No. Nope, nope, nope. I cannot feel non-aggression, sir. Plus, it's good if another army moves in behind, or another faction moves in and starts conquering or settling these raised settlements. We can just come back again in the future and hit them again. Uh, war rights. Maintain five of the following type. Okay, okay. Neutral army. Cool. Now we're going to go kill those guys. Since you ask, die, 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 die. Let battle commence. Yeah, we need to fight this one. What's the map like? Charge! Unleash the Amazonians! I should have upgraded my units. Dang it. Would a Lustria Amazons campaign be almost the same as this? I don't know what... Um, what the, the Warhammer Amazons are like. If I'm assuming they are like this. Um, probably, yeah. So maybe? Anyone that is versed in them be able to give a inclination of, yes, this is basically what they would be in Warhammer. Of some kind. They have magic in Warhammer? Any special crazy units? Or are they just really, really strong gals? As they seem to be in this. Rightly so. Go. 
frustrating. You can't go around that way, but then there's houses there you can't go through. That's fine. Move the cab over here instead. Well, how many Amazons are a Norse offshoot? Uh, okay. So more like crazed female Vikings. I thought I could maybe charge down everything and then realize it's a cliff. Yeah, Norska raiders into Lizard lands to settled and naturalized. That's cool. So do, would they have do they have would they have like cold one or like feral cold one um like almost like hounds or like little lizard warhounds sort of thing hunt as a as a unit type as such. So where are they faction wise in Warhammer 2? Skeggy oh what in the board game. Oh yeah, there's that Skeggy, isn't there? Yeah. Is that where they're meant to be? That's pretty cool though. Yeah, this is gonna take a while to press on through here. Your hero is under attack. Go, go, go. Stinky Pear, thanks for subscribing with a prime sub. Two months. <laughs> Draw off your face. Hades has claimed yep. the enemy hero. He's got jabbed to death. Beautiful. Javelins. Oh, I was hoping we could spread them here and then fire on down. There we go. Same thing with the slingers there. Come on. Come on. There we go. go. DLC is free. Yes. Free to claim if you have a Total War Access account. Um, if you type exclamation mark. Uh, Amazons into the Twitch chat. You'll find all the info. There's a little FAQ link on the kind of landing page for the Amazons. Check that out. And it will reveal all. But yeah, they're free to claim till the 8th of October. Press the attack, press the attack, press the attack. Push, 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 push. Victory is close enough to taste. Get ready to charge. Oh, they've broken. Here we go. Wreck them. That's it. Run into them with your spears up like this rather than like that. <laughs> Charge on in. My ferocious clippity clocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. 
Try and get him go through that way so we can blank into all that lot. Fine, they're just kind of pressing through. Just give an attack order through. They'll go for it. By Ares, your warriors are rallying. Very distinct clippity clop sound. Indeedy. Maximum clippity clop engage. It's still the case that routing units are still hard to kill because when units move, they're stronger than saying still. Um, it, it does seem to be, yeah, because I think it's again kind of a collision kind of almost basis. You, can't, you kind of, they phase through rather than standing still, so you can't easily kind of get the hit, the contact on them. Okay, there seems to be two stories for the Warhammer Amazons. One is Norsken raiders that settled. Um, men got killed and the women got influenced by the slan. Okay. Is clippity clops a technical term? I believe so. I believe that is the that's the that's the correct term for cavalry. Clippity clops. Get some experience, noise. And yeah, we want more, more growth. Raise and enslave. Plus, from this one, do we get, is it sirens or something like that added to our pool? The perfect Amazon yeah, there we go. Is that nine of them as well? Raw Dieck. That's kind of cool. Right, so yeah, so from here, we'll go after their settlement up there, which will give us a load of food. I'll see to it. And we've got three settlements, so I can go for another army. Because why not? Who do you want to go for? Go for Doris. The mighty Amazon Doris. The other story is that the old gods created them. So much like the Lizard Men, the Amazons were a really weird society. Second edition weird where the priestess of the old gods have a drug that induces pregnancy. Hence the all female society. Oh crazy Warhammer fantasy. Why are you, why are you crazy crazy? Um... They look really cool. Um, Archer, I kind of want someone getting into the thick of it. This one's called this. Was, this one is called Highborn. Amazon power. This one's called Best in War. Oh, nice! I like it. I am best in war. Yes. <laughs> that's that's a pretty just a funny. And then there's Doris. Uh, I feel like I've got to go for Doris actually. Good old Doris, the mighty Amazonian. So we all, they all get Amazonian, or Amazon pride rather. Um, that takes place under vengeance, so it's done. Characters destined for greatness when killed in battle or due to agent action, they will only be wounded. Cool. Um, we gain 30% camping up movement range after raising a settlement, and yeah, they can't be reinforced. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Good old Doris. Amazons forever. The mighty Betty. Right, I mean, so I could instantly I just throw in a load of vital. sirens, but I kind of feel like we should get in our own troops to start leveling them up as quickly as possible. Uh, I've got to remember upkeep, though, actually. But if we keep, if we raise that one for how much food? 11,000. We should be able to keep on going for a while. And then we just need to set up some trades, I guess. Um, as we pillage, or we just need to buy food. Um, remind me though, what does what, what upgrades to what? I kind of feel like going for like a full cab force would be kind of fun. We've got for the shield and spear heavy cavalry. Just if we just went for a full army of like initiates and then get some, get some slingers and archers. Could be fun, although the dorsal of Ares do look fun. So they're a bit warband and initiates. Okay. So there we go. Let's go for. Uh, actually, oh, I should have done the. I should have done the prayer, shouldn't I? I should have done the prayer. One for. Actually, no. Hecatomb, and then the prayer is to. Uh, who is it? Athena. Yeah. Hear my prayer. Kindle the sacred fires. I should have waited to Hecatomb him till next turn, shouldn't amazed. I? Yes. And we would have got more out of it. 
So we'll still recruit some this turn. And we'll get the ones next turn with extra. Um, let's go the for the slingers this turn. And early on, you're going to want to go for that one. Captured slaves for more growth. All that is the cost of food, though. Is there anything else that gives us more growth? Wasn't there a temple? Yeah, Sacred Stone of Hera. Oh, yeah, plus five. It's better than nothing, though. We need to be tier two for that. Okie dokie. Um... Paris, 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 Paris. Come, friend. What words do you have for me? I would love for you, honestly, to give me a thousand food for five turns. What will it take? You do like a bit of bronze. And we are heading towards more bronze. So what about 200? Oh, wow. You are cheap. Yes, we can do this deal. In fact, let's just 10 turns. <laughs> oh, Paris, you fool. You beautiful fool. Bargain. I'd be fooling. Happy days. Paris is always cheap. <laughs> Hazing. Uh, um, why is trading with people so hard? Like you want to buy their land? Yeah, trading settlements. I don't know. I think that needs some work in Troy because it does seem like. It's just you. The only way you can do it, I think, is by trading a settlement of equal value, sort of thing. It's the only way you'll get close or or near equal value. Uh, you'll give me wood for load of bronze. We're about to get some more, so yeah, sure, why not? I probably should have negotiated that a bit better, but hey ho. Yeah, I've tried doing it in my Achilles campaign and like it and uh, my Odysseus campaign, and it's just. They won't do it. I don't think you can trade more than one settlement at a time, can you? So, unless you, if you, you'd probably need to stack up like trading three settlements for one. But I'm pretty sure I tried doing that, and it like, you can only do one for one. I think. Yeah, I think they need to either rebalance it. I think the biggest issue is that you need more things that you could then offer up in trade to to try and increase their chance of them accepting. So, like in Three Kingdoms, it works a bit better because you've got ancillaries that you can trade, kind of find it weird that you can't trade all the ancillaries and items that you get in this one as well. Um, but I guess it's Saga title, so not enough uh, budget for all those features as such. Um, yeah, Warband and Initiates, wasn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Meanwhile... We are going to press on. Glorious death awaits. Camp. Right away. Oh, hello. Glory oh, hi. How done. you do? We at war? No, we're neutral. Oh, that's lucky. I've got a settlement up there. What will we get from that one? Raising it would give us 230 battle glory. Oh, you guys can die. Oh, yeah, we need to kill you. We need to go to war with you anyway because I want your bronze. They've got the favor. And this one I've got. Yeah, gold. They are getting... It's going to be worth more eventually. And then, yeah, here we are... Just waiting for more surplus. That's fine. That's all good. Who's been the most enjoyable campaign in this game for me? Um... <laughs> I'm quite liking my Achilles campaign. That's quite a lot of fun. Odysseus is good as well because I quite like that he he doesn't quite play uh, like other factions in that due to his kind of faction mechanics hits um, it's uh, not optimal for him to go too far inland it's better for him to stay along the coast so I quite like that I think his are some of my sort of favourite faction mechanics in terms of how it I don't I mean, to a degree, I guess it railroads you down playing a, a certain way, but you can still kind of push out and, and do what you want 
to a degree. You just don't have as many building options in inland settlements. But no, I quite like that he, he offers a fairly different way of playing. Make a barter agreement. Okie dokie. Yeah, so uh, uh, Achilles, but then closely followed by Odysseus, I think. Oh, are these enemies? These are enemies. Run away. Of course. I cannot do that. They're in force march right now. Oh, they've gone in and settled that one. Nice. You're welcome. Get into position. I'll have to refuse. They might be able to reach, but I'll we should be able to withdraw. To so we will go for some wall ban now. Very well. We can take them. Mash. Show no mercy. How's the whole mechanic compared to Warhammers? I mean, it's very, it's very similar. I think it, all the other, like Amazonian mechanics that work well with it. Um, it's pretty cool. So, hopefully a good sign for things to Destroy come in, in Warhammer or when um, Warhammer 3 probably comes well out or Beastmen Overhaul, Chaos Overhaul or all the overhauls. <laughs> I live um, fight. In camp again? Oh wait, we can move, can't we? Yeah, I move back it. here in camp. I'll deal with it. And then we've got a skill point. Go for drill expert. Recruit rank of all new units. Her army's kind of fine at the moment. Divine challenge or song of battle. That increases your attack speed because it lowers your uh, attack interval. You attack faster, but at the cost of melee defense. Challenge is nice. But I think we'll go for Song of Battle. That seems like a pretty good one. Armor piercing. Yeah, armor piercing's very nice. For sure. Victory is, uh, is there anything we were planning on building? I think we've got to wait for more surplus. Yeah, we need five for that one, don't we? I can upgrade units, though. That's what I keep forgetting to do. Here we go. So we can go for the Huntress. Uh, let me have a look at the upgrade path. So Huntress and then up to uh, Themyscira's Chosen. So Elite Javelins. Or we could turn you into Jav Cav. Or we could go for Chariot Javelins. Let's go... For another huntress, I think. You can become archers. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Sweet. Awesome. So we should have the extra surplus next turn. Yep. We're just about to finish getting wood. Uh, we've already got bronze coming on in. Um. Oh, a lot of things. A lot of things cost bronze. Ruddy heck. Need all that bronze. Uh, but I'm thinking, isn't there one that gives me more campaign map movement range? Yeah, that one, marching drills. Probably stone. I was thinking the gold as well. It's anything to give us something passive. A little bit of passive income. Yeah, blood DLC. I think that's meant to be coming fairly soon as well. going to move in and take that. No, uh, the thing is we're going to need to actually jump on their faces while they're in force march because we need to attack them next. Ba, 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 ba. Ancestry. What's this? Favor cavalry. Plus 4% to the charge of cavalry units. Faction wide plus 15% to the melee attack of cavalry units. Keep unity. Upkeep costs for all units. Own armies faction wide. Or favor archers. Uh, for missile unit. No, we're going to go for keep unity and 10% uh, upkeep force reduction. Bada bing, bada boom. Pacha. Top level down. That's fine. Create a horde army. I, could, I just... Uh, I just did that. 
gold or stone. Gold, stone is probably slightly more practical. Yeah, it's free to claim until the 8th of October. Clear enough. Um, so yeah, I was going to go jump on you boys. By airy side. At once. Bring in Doris. Off we go. Embrace your doom. Oh wow, yeah, you're getting wrecked. Bye-bye. This is it. Yeah, you just gotta have a total war access account. If you type exclamation mark Amazons into the Twitch chat, follow that link, it'll tell you everything you need. Oh no, we lost the warband with rank three, dang it. Just kill them. I survive. Yeah, it's free to create one. It's just email address and that's all you need for one. Amazon power. Amazon power. Nothing left to lose. Um, so we lost. Yeah, we lost a warband unit. So I'll recruit another one of them. I may as well. Although. We're gonna move, move on towards. They're holding over that. Yes, I will. How strong is it? Nine. That's fine. Uh, with this army, we could probably move down towards that one. Let's have another army coming. In which case, row. Ru but we should be all white. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll have one more slinger. We'll have four slingers. Just about for this. I mean, we can go to a full stack and just keep it, keep it going. Just keep I moving. We can go for that building now as well. Ba battle mentors. Oh, that's an act unit that I'm actually recruiting, isn't it? So if I hold off for a turn, then we have that building. Then we'll, yep, we will be higher recruit rank. No. It still will decrease your liability rating. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to accept that then. You're demanding that from me. No, die. Go away. Hello, poppets. You've charged out to meet me. I think I can have you. Let's fight it. That's high ground there we can utilize a bit. My sling is up there. Send in the mighty Amazonian Doris. Looks terrifying. Cool, uh, blood work. Oh, right. Is that sword like made out of wood? No, it's just a very yeah, crude wooden. Right. You guys push forward to that. The slingers can utilize the high ground up this way. We can flank on around here. Super intense looking. Now I've got to keep Doris, the mighty Amazonian. It's a classic Amazonian name, don't you know? Your hero is under there attack. Yep, yeah, slingers do the slinging. Dodge. 
Get in there, Doris. Dangerous Doris. Yeah. That's her name. None of the other children ever wanted to play with Doris at break time. She was dangerous, Doris, and had a habit of biting. Ooh, good flankety flank. Your warriors are losing heart. Yep, yeah, I'd be losing heart off of that big old flankety flank. Okay, swing is cross here. Broken over there. That's fine. Have been routed. Hold, Doris. Hold the line. Get him, Doris. Take out those skirmishes. Go, go, javelins, go, go. I mean, slingers, go, go, slingers, go, go. Kill the javelins. Need these two to rally. A match for any man. Oh, they've broken. Dang it. It's not what we want. They've broken, though. Rally! Warriors are rallying. Yeah, there we go. They're going to come back, but that's fine. Focus on just flanking here. Think we'll be okay. Oh, no, she's broken. Doris, no! Let's hold the line, Doris. Warriors are rallying. Yep, come back. Come on, Doris. Doris isn't as dangerous as she made out to be yet. Come on, Doris. Witness my skill. We outnumber them still. Go back, go. Disappointing Doris. <laughs> I think she's got. I think she's got this. I think she's gonna. She's gonna rally. Recover. Yeah, they've just shattered. Good, they're not coming back. Keep chasing Doris. You've got your Aristia, actually. Let's just send her in there. There's chase, chase, chase. It's Doris. Remorseless. Prove yourselves. Heading out. They're dead. Keep chasing. Yeah, they've gone. Well done, Doris. Get him, Doris. Oh. That's it. Whack him. Victory. 
victory is close enough to taste. Whoa. Get him, Doris. So keep kicking him. Oh yes, right in the right in the top of the face. Yeah. No one messes with Doris. Oh oh, was that like a, a nut shot? You get old like knee to the nuts. Go for it. Oh yeah, good good slices. route soon. Yeah, he's giving up. You wuss. Coward. Ah, see Doris. Yes, you celebrate. But also kill him. To the nut face. Yes. <laughs> That's the word. Slice the slice. Air kick. Come on, Doris. Like, well, we'll see one more, one more leaping attack at him. Oh, wow! Do it again. Leap, Doris. Leap. Do a leap. Oh, go on. You, you've earned the kill. I think. Finish him off. She just blocked the hammer with her nose. <laughs> she just caught it with her face. It's fine. Come on. Big finish, Doris. Big finish. Come on. Hey, pause. Oh, nice. And again, finish him, Doris. Finish him. Get him again. Come on, Doris. Oh, that's a finish. Hades has claimed the enemy hero. <laughs> yes. GG, <laughs> Doris. Yeah, no one wants to mess with Doris. All shall fear Doris. Fatality. Is the sword? Whoop. Fire, fire, fire. Blade of Doris. She got him good. Uh, yeah, more glory. More glory. Give us that glory. Huzzah, pause. Not much longer. Air kick to establish dominance. I like it. Yeah. That's how you do it. No one else can upgrade just yet. I'll do it. Show no mercy. Oh, they're going to start attritioning after a single turn. Oh, that's because we've got the thing that means they attrition real quick. Yeah. Kill the lot. I didn't mean to actually do that. I meant to... Massacre I mean, we're not going to press the attack. We'll just queue up some stuff. Don't hold back. Unfortunately, that means I can't build anything while this is going on. But that's okay. We can take them. I'll honor that request. Prepare to be amazed. We'll recruit some more units, then we'll go on in and take that. Um, I feel like, yeah, more warband is what we want. And upgrade Doris's horde. Good, good, good. And you're moving to California. Oh, wow. Good luck with the move. Ah. Ah. Reinforcements. Oh, that one. Uh, no, run away. Back off. They're pressing the attack anyway. This could be the end of Doris. Rut row. Rut row, Scoob. Fight to the bitter end, Doris. Hey, Spiro. How you doing? Trained and ready. Trained 
try and draw them in here and make their numbers not mean as much. I think that's the plan. Might try and flank us, but we shall see. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Let's see if this will work. No worries if you just joined. Uh, we've got another 40 minutes of uh, of this. And then I'm going to actually, rather than keep the stream up, I'm actually going to take an hour's break where I end the stream. Uh, and then I'll start the stream back up again at 2 p.m. Uh, and we'll do 2 till 6. We'll do four hours of the Imric campaign. That is the plan today. Ooh, that's a lot of troops. A lot of javelins. I think we might be in trouble, Doris. That's a lot of jabbies. So we've got to hammer hard that left side and hold on the right. Foe has sighted your hidden units. Probably best I focus on one jab unit at a time. I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna lose though. But if we can whittle down some of the enemy, that will help. We can get a chance to any flanking here, which isn't ideal. Things are doing a decent job, though. But it's when this flank starts collapsing. Then we're in trouble. Your warriors are losing heart. Kill the lot. Divinely guided. I can see. Enemies beware. Enemies beware. Shatter the foe. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. But those javelins in the back are not going to do us any favors. Come on, Doris. Keep fighting. Come on, those javelins have got to go. Okay, that's when these this lot collapse. Oh no, we've actually held them off. They've just broken. Hit this, these guys in the back quick. Come on. They've gone berserk. Go, sling us, go. Come on, Doris, get the clutch. Nice, they're gone. Nice, 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 nice. Hit that war band. Light like skirmishes. Your warriors have been routed. No, hold. Come on, slingers. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a big old break there. It's all just broke. Volley, 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 volley. Hold. Ah, we're so close to the... So close to the line that it's going to go straight over. No, Doris, I thought we might be able to pull it back then. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. No, Doris, no. Quick. No. Try and kill their dude at least. Pop everything. Uh, that one's gone. Ground. Pull that one back. Let them all chase those away. Come on. Oh, no, they broke it. No. No. Doris. Rip Doris. Thank you, Tanda, for subscribing with the tier one sub. Much appreciated. <laughs> Draw off your face. You're following you for a long time. Keep up your work. Thank you very much. Oh, Doris. You did your best, though. You did your best. I left you exposed, thinking they wouldn't have any more armies to come. I'm sorry. Although she's only going to ever be wounded, actually, because she's like a Homeric character, isn't she? So Doris will actually return. So I've just lost her army. There we go. A valiant defeat. We, we did a lot of damage to them. Slingers were pretty effective, actually. Doris got zero kills. That's because we zoned her in on take, trying to lock down the enemy hero. No, Doris! Yeah, I'm guessing if she's... So she can only ever be wounded. Does that mean her... When you... I'm assuming that resets still all of her horde buildings. Or when she's recovered, does she come back with all of her horde stuff? That'll be interesting. Because we had upgraded her main line to tier 2. So it would be interesting to see if that comes back at tier 2 or tier 1. She'll be back though. Uh, recruit a mythical unit. Massacre them! That's... Uh, is that a mythical one? Sirens? They count? I always forget. Don't hold back. They're gonna start attritioning. That's fine. Let battle commence. Doris's revenge. Yeah, revenge revenge of the Doris. Let's just throw one of those in. Yeah, there we go. We get Can we get a Sator? Oh, what do like you do again? Own army. Increase its banner in search of prestige and renown. That's pretty cool. The gods adore a joke. Here we go. We'll just wait till she's recovered and then we'll bring her back. Good old Doris. The mighty Doris. Uh, no. No. Prophecy of, I just got Prophecy of Doom, didn't I? Rats. Doris 2, Electric Boogaloo. Return of the Doris. The Doris strikes back. Attack of the Doris. Fellowship of the Doris. We could go on. It's all about Doris now. What does Prophecy of Doom do again? I forget. Um, oh, um, that, no, that's for an agent. That is reduced morale. Okay, that's fine. Where I go, the wine flows. I don't, I don't get, what, what does he do? He does, oh, unrestricted casualty replenishment. 
He only lasts seven turns though, doesn't he? Sator. Increase the growth of all horde armies in local province. Song of Discord. Okay. Embrace your doom. Yeah, they're wrecked. Right. Show no mercy. Wag all your axes. So we're nearly up to Battle Glory 1. Sweet. Rambo, first Doris. Uh, yeah, raise the slave. This place. Too fast, too Doris. I like it. The Phantom Doris. The good, the bad, and the Doris. Put your fa well favourite Doris... Done, uh, favourite Doris movie down in the Twitch chat or the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, Medieval Dynasty looks nice. Just download it using your code. Uh, what are my thoughts about it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stream some more of it on Monday, I think. I think we'll do... Um, try and do a, a, a six-hour stream. But three hours of Medieval Dynasty and three hours of Hector. That's the plan. Heading out. Ah, why not? Um, I can upgrade that now, can't I? For that, I need more gold. More gold. Um, do I want to do that one first, or do I want to? Do... That requires four. No. Just one surplus. Let's go for that first. Let's do that. How long until we can get Doris back again? Three turns. Cool. Doris of Wall Street. Doris the Explorer. Uh, the DLC is free, uh, Meridus. If you um, claim it via your uh, Total War Access account or create one, it's totally free to do. Type exclamation mark Amazons. And it unlocks at 3 p.m. BST today. So in two and a half hours. Mm, I'm saying no at the moment. So yeah, and it's, it's free to claim until the 8th of October. Single barter, peace treaty. No. Die. Enemies die. You all have a beautiful and creative day. You too, Sergey. Doris Knight, the Doris Redemption. Fellowship of the Doris, followed by a couple of Dorises, and finish with, hey, Doris is back. <laughs> One flew over the Doris nest. <laughs> uh, there is only Doris. Doris Bond. Yes. Million Doris baby. <laughs> you, me, and Doris. <laughs> you got married yesterday in Medieval Dynasty. Oh, cool. Yeah, it does seem, it does seem pretty good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Uh, I mean, as early access games go, it seems it seems pretty decent for the moment. But I guess we'll kind of see how much sort of how much uh, how how uh, I guess the isn't quite the term the phrase isn't quite fit what I want to say. I guess uh, well. let's see if it's got the legs, if it can if it can run, as it were, if it's if it's got enough content to be you know a decent experience. Um, but yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do like another stream or two of Medieval Dynasty, and then I might kind of drop in and out every month or so, or whenever it gets a decent sized uh, content update. I just go for Drill Expert. Because it just seems to be worthwhile getting that maximum recruitment. Yeah. Oh, whoa, we got loads of upgrades. Is that the only path we can do for them? Yeah, it's straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Can I do multiple all in one go? Yes, look at that. So we've now got Oath Swarm. Nice. You can become... I think it's the infantry I want to go for. Infantry and then up to, yeah, Daughters of Ares. Yes, 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 yes. So... We want to go for that one. And... Hmm, probably want to go for the horse women, I think.
because then they can become that as well. Whereas that one just finished them off, yeah. So start getting some more cav. That would be cool. Uh, which we can't do yet because we need the Riders Council. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so Riders Council, that is there. And for that, we are lacking seven population surplus. Or another two. And we need 100 gold. So let's see if we can set up diplomacy and get some gold. Get us some gold. Troy, you're going to be... Oh, normally you're rolling in it. You've got lots. You're desperate for bronze. I can't see this ending well. a lot I'm pretty sure though we were that one that settlement will give us bronze as well yeah 7,000 okay so let's just push it up a bit although actually 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 the AI silly as it is will probably take yeah loads of food instead no bronze required Cool. I'll have Job done. Oh god, we're still going with the Doris films. Caladorus Knights. I like it. Breaking Doris. Um Saving Private Doris. Band of Doris. The Walking Doris. Daughters of Doris. Birds of Doris. Avengers Age of Doris. Chronicles of Doris. Ant Man of the Doris. Alien vs. Doris. Or Doris vs. Predator. <laughs> Oh, uh, honey, I shrank the Doris. Silence of the Dorises. Captain Doris. The good, the bad, and the Doris. I think we've had that one, haven't we? Doris Unchained. The list goes on. The list goes on. What's your favourite Doris film? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Um, so actually, I'm going to save so we can get the Riders Council. Um, we can't move again. Boom. Has the map expanded? Uh, no, I don't think they've added in any any new regions with the Amazon DLC and update. Doris films never stop. <laughs> Lord of the Doris followed by the award winning The Two Dorises and The Return of the Doris. Welcome to the next week of Twitch chat. Yeah, with all the Dorises. <laughs> what have I done? That should be, it should be another character we name in our uh, Crusader Kings. Uh, our Mongol campaign. I'm going to put that down as a one. Well, we've got to have a Doris now. Like our female Tim. Uh, Rightful Fury. Unlock the Blood Oath. Honor at on the Blood Oath panel. Cool. Um, we've already done that one, haven't we? Rightful Fury. Yep. My skill is proven. Yep. So we get plus five percent campaign map movement range of all armies faction wide. Beautiful. They failed to doom me, so um, we've got seven surplus, which means I can build yep that. But let's first of all smash this settlement into yes, oblivion. Bye bye. Show me blood. When the Wood Elf DLC comes out, one of the mages could be Doris. Yes. Definitely. Raise, Raise. and enslave their men folk. Doris Hood men in tights. <laughs> My days. Nothing you guys. What lose. you like? Right, so we're going to go for gold over there, weren't we? And we're also going to finish... I think that's the last one they've got. These guys are kind of rebuilding. Look at them go. They've grabbed all of that. That's kind of funny. And those guys have pushed out that way. I don't think... that I don't think they've given us anything we can go for. I don't know. Do they eventually re-establish what they will offer? 
I kind of feel like war this war spoils uh, could be laid out a bit better, or the icons made a bit bigger. And so, why just have them there? Uh, it's, it's a nice artwork, sure, but still. Uh, that's for Hera, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go for the gold first. I'll see to it. Um, the Nomad's Way. Plus 50% experience received in battle for all units. That would be ridiculous to upgrade them, but obviously past a certain point. Is it better to go for a buff for them? Possibly. We have a heavy weapon though for now. I live to fight on. Oh no, got multiple points. Multiple points to spend. Terrify or Ares Thunder. Ares Thunder is quite a nice one for getting in there and fighting. Yeah, Ares Thunder. A thunder? Or melee attack. Oh yeah, Ares. Yeah, we definitely want that one. Melee attack for Bloodsworn units. Oh, that's bonkers. Hang on. Reset. Yeah, prayer to Ares, and then through to prayer to Ares Blood Oath. That's that's crazy. Let's have a look at our Blood Oath. Can we do? Oh, we can upgrade the Oath now. Nice. Although, 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 as much as I want to. The Amazons rise. So it will summon nine Blood Oath units, uh, or Blood Swarm units. Sick. Um, I want to get the cavalry in, and I need the gold for that. Well, I've still got enough to do the Blood Oath, but we'll wait until next turn to call it in. Uh, that settlement, it is walled. Mm, walled cities. That one's also walled though, isn't it? Actually, with the Blood Oath though, no, we could just overrun it. Yeah, that's cool. Might make that our, our final action then for today. That should tie things up nicely. Hey, Kim Kernu. How you doing? Harry Potter in the Chamber of Doris. <laughs> Oh, the Prophecy of Doom. Does that stop me moving? I forget. Ugh. A feast for the worthy. Experience at the cost of minus a food, uh, minus a food, a minus a thousand food. Yes, done. Oh, they were failures. Doris is back. Huzzah! Return of the Doris. Oh, we don't have the surplus. Dang it, I forget. I forget. I You've gained more points. Um. Yeah, we want prayer to Ares for the extra plus twenty percent to melee attack of Bloodsworn units. That's bonkers. Oh, and yeah, extra stuff after battle. That's a chance for ambushing. That's nice, but no, extra stuff, please. And then, yeah, Aerie's Thunder. Right, yeah, we can hit that. Let's um, upgrade. Although, for a siege, would infantry, infantry probably would be better, but we're going to have all the Bloodsworn units, so let's have the cavalry anyway. Treat ourselves. Yeah, another archer. Boom. Blood. Oh. Oh, are we not. Oh, we're slightly under now. Oh, wait, no, hang on. That requires. Oh, no, it's fine. 350. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, crap. No, I should have done. Ah. Ah, I should have done that one. I'm guessing it won't let me do that right now. Oh, no, it... <gasps> Sweet! I didn't miss out on it. Nice. <laughs> I still get them anyway. Beautiful. That's that's crazy. So we need 4,000 to upgrade the Oath to get us the Bloodsworn Daughters of Ares, which is just bonkers. Right, okay. This Go! It. We can Actually, them. I was thinking we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I should have got some rams. But they'll stick around for a turn. We could just rush on in, though. What do you guys reckon, Twitch chat? Wait for rams or just charge on in because we've got enough units that we can climb the walls and go for it. When will this be on YouTube? Um, Plan will be... Probably to actually upload this tomorrow. It's out tomorrow. You guys are saying charge on in. Ladders, do it. Attack. 
Yeah, because we get all those beautiful Bloodsworn infantry for the Doris. Yeah. Aragorn at the, at the Black Gate turns. The Doris. <laughs> Charge! Yeah, this will, be, this will be our final action today. Fighting this battle. Um, as I said, this isn't going to be a full campaign. Um, I don't really plan on kind of doing another stream of this just yet to kind of carry on through. Um, this was more of a, just a first look, see how things work. Uh, Showed off to you guys. Uh, but once I finish a few series, I might well look to do a full Amazon campaign. I'll uh, let you guys vote. Probably between this Amazon campaign or a Nanman DLC campaign for Three Kingdoms. Let's have a look at these Blood Sworn. Yeah, don't don't mess with these lasses. They will mess you up. What shoes the ninjas wear? I do not know, Shadow Eagles. What shoes do ninjas wear? I feel like this is like this is either gonna be terrible dad joke or absolutely beautiful. Sneakers. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's dad joke level 100, that. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, anyway. <laughs> Attacking the walls. We don't have any rams, but we can still attack the gate with our hero, with our general. She's got lots of great stuff. Um, Where can we come in from this side? There's that section and that section. Where's the victory point? It's right up here. That's really cool, actually. Look at that. Look at the sunlight catching that as you go on up. The lighting in this game is gorgeous. Little god rays coming on through. Nice. Anyway. Um, yeah, we'll split our force. Plan will be just to get up on the walls as quickly as we can. All those guys. Um, there's not that many I've sent round to go here. Um, I think we'll have the, the slot going in over here. And then javelins, I'll have you supporting here. And I'm going to send the cavalry to go in with the other Bloodsworn units over this side. Once the gate is open. Send in the cavalry. Because we're going to have all these archers here to bombard the enemy. Oh, we've got the axes. Yeah. Okay, axes, you can go in over this side. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so now drawn their forces. Multiple sections of the wall. We don't want to push in all sides if we don't have to. I mean, these ones are going to disappear, actually, so we might as well just charge on it and even if we do take big casualties. Because uh, we can't replenish them or keep them. Just go for it. Over here. Um, yeah, we could be a little bit more careful. We could hold back here and wait. See what happens. Your hero is under attack. Get up those walls. Time to climb. Ladders. The ladders have a foothold on their walls. Warrior winning! Difference breeds 
Where do they keep the axes while they climb? That's what I want to know. Are attacking the gates. Take the walls. Come on, get up those walls. On their backs. Well, I mean, they didn't seem to have it there, but no, they don't have a sling or anything like that for their axe to sit there. Where's it go? Where does it go? into the melee. the gate so we can charge on him with cavalry. Ruthless aggression. The See giant armored spearmen down there. Go, ladies, go. You are about to capture the gates. Nice. Bringing the cavalry. We can cap it. They are pulling off over there. Enemies beware. Time to claim the walls. They've gone. Forward and one. How's that gate? Working on it. Go at them. You have captured the gates. Go. Hero just politely knocking it. Excuse me, let me in. One of your units has no more ammunition. Go, go, go. You the enemy tower. We're in. Charge them up to the victory point. The enemy attacks the gates. Oh, well, they re they recaptured it. Oh, no, I'm attacking the gates. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we haven't we haven't captured it. It's just it's kind of opening as we go in. Push, 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 push.
Cavalry to the flanks. Slaughter them. Sand spring. Thanks for tuning in. from them. You will soon hold the enemy's victory point. Get in there. Song of Battle melee attack. Divine vengeance. Death holds Pop everything. No nice. 127 melee attack and 1,880 weapon damage. Beautiful. Cavalry up against spears. They're all good. Yeah, they're broken. Gonna swing in our favor. Trying to capture the gates. There's the victory. The city is ours. Now time to burn it. We lost 1,242. Not bad. Oh, good skewering. And you're very, very dead. Yep. Nice. Didn't lose a whole unit anywhere, though. That's all good. Bye-bye. And then raise an enslave. Thanks for the resources. Thanks for the loot. Yes, I earned this. Beautiful stuff. Guided by Hades. Lovely. Right. Well, if you've been watching on YouTube, this has been our first look gameplay. Uh, taking a look at the Amazons DLC, which you can get for free by uh, getting a Total War Access account and linking it to Epic Games account. Which uh, Total War Access account is totally free. You can find info on how to do all that down in the description. Uh, pinned to the top of the comment section. And it's um, available for free until the 8th of October. So go, go and grab it now if you want uh, free DLC for Total War Saga Troy. Till the next one, take care and ciao for now.